Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Motorola Milestone 2. Now, this particular handset was loaned to me by Clove Technology. You can find their website at clove.co.uk and you can buy one of these unlocked SIM free for £364. Now, I've done other videos on my channel about the Milestone 2, so please do check those out. They'll answer most of your questions. But a quick rundown on the spec this has got a 1 GHz processor. 8GB of internal memory, a 3.7 inch capacitive touchscreen, Wi Fi, GPS, and it's running Android version 2.2. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some internet browsing. And this is the internet browser, it does work in either landscape or portrait orientation. So, let's start things off in this particular orientation. And we just click off of that, and in this top search bar here, we're going to have a look at the Geekanoids website. Now we've got an on-screen keyboard pop-up, which is really nice. Nice and easy to use, even though it looks quite small, it's still very easy to hit the right keys. And let's tap go. So this is the Geekanoids website, albeit in the portrait format. We can obviously scroll up and down. We can pinch to zoom, so we can zoom in and out. Very nice, uh, sort of fluid scrolling to this. And we can obviously pinch back out to go all the way back out to full page view. We can also rotate this round so that we're in landscape view. And let's just zoom in on here for you. And again, pinch to zoom, and very smooth sort of scrolling. And then, because this is Android version 2.2, we have got flash support here. So, my videos that are embedded into the website, normally when you'd click on these, it would go to the YouTube viewer. But on this particular one, we can actually view them on the website. Now this is really nice, I don't have to leave the browser to actually view these videos. Let's just zoom in slightly so you can get a nice full screen view of the video, which has disappeared momentarily. There we go. You get the idea. So let's go all the way back up to the top and let's have a look at another website. Let's have a look at the Apple website. Nice and fast to load. We're currently connected via 802.11n Wi-Fi. So nice fast load times. This is the Apple website, which is a, another good test for the phone. Again, you can pinch to zoom in nice smooth scrolling around the website as well. Let's go into the store just to show you the store in the UK. Very responsive touchscreen, as I say it's a capacitive touchscreen and again we can scroll around nice and smoothly it does a really nice job of uh, rendering graphics we can double tap to zoom out, we can double tap to zoom in so fully supported multi-touch and a real pleasure to use for internet browsing. So I hope that's given you some idea of the uh, features uh, with regards to internet browsing. As you can see here we can open new windows, bookmarks, we can even control multiple windows, refresh and we've got a little more button here where we can add shortcuts and save pages and share pages and go to our downloads and settings. So plenty of things that we can do with the, the built-in internet browser. It's a real pleasure to use. That concludes my coverage for this video, but if you keep an eye on the Geek and Noise channel, I'll be doing plenty more videos on the Motorola Milestone 2, including a look at texting and emails, and then also a final video, which is gonna be my full review of this Android-based mobile phone. Well, thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel if you like my content, 
And if you want to get my regular updates, please follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.